Hello everyone, welcome back to Dulcie's Creations. Thank you for joining me and the new project we have today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Um, if you are new, please enjoy and thank you for being here. Remember to like, subscribe and click on that bell for up all upcoming projects. And above all, if you've got anything you'd like to say or, you know, please do leave some comments. It does help the channel with all these YouTube analytics that I'm still learning what it's really all about but um, apparently all the comments you get does help so if you could comment that would be absolutely wonderful anyway so today I'm going to do an egg project I'll put Linda's YouTube link on and her website um, now because it is one of Linda's kits she doesn't want me to um, do an instruction instructor instructional beg your pardon easy for me to say video so I am going to still record it with you guys but it won't be step by step you will basically just be watching me put it all together so this one is called true love so you go so the egg does come marked but from the brief instructions I was going I was reading I do have to put two little hearts over here and then be able to cut everything um, and then it, it has everything. There's the stand, um, two little hearts, some flowers, some more there. Let's just see what else is in here to put the egg on. Um, this is some glitter. I do have quite a bit of this glitter, but there you go. Um, and I think this is for the inside so that you can't see, you know, so that it covers the heart at the back. And what's in here? Oh, I think these are little doves. Yep, little doves that go in the egg. So, it's going to be an interesting one. To be honest and upfront and, you know, let you know, I have had this kit for about three years. So, hmm. um, I have 14 kits that have not been done. And this is what happens when you don't do anything with your kits. The paint is bone dry. So the first step is to cut this heart out, which I'm going to do over on that side. I'll take you across there so that you can actually watch me do that. Okay, so we are ready to cut. Now, let me just make sure you're in the right position. Okay, so um, what I did is I already did step two, mark the front ones, because I thought if I'm cutting, I might as well try and cut everything all at once. I've put in my little blade, and let's see how this goes. Hopefully, I won't. pretty neat Maybe just a little bit of an adjustment there so um, I've given the the egg two coats of matte paint on the inside and outside now I've given it one coat of the um, metallic white pull I'm just waiting for it to dry and the same thing with the base and while I was waiting I thought um, this is the base that will go on the egg but I didn't want it to just be gold this is me nothing can be as it should so <laughs> oops i made that bottom part there red this is a second coat i don't know if you can see that let me just hold this up for you so just the bottom part of the base i've made it red and what i want to do is one of the hearts because this has got three hearts on it i'll show you in a minute and I want one of the hearts to be in red. See, it has three hearts there. One of those is going to be in red. And this will not surprise Linda at all. 
good thing about these kits oh and um, before I forget I was having a chat to her and she does still have the true love kits available so should any of you want to try your hand at egg art then drop Linda an email drop her a message um, and try it oh I like that <laughs> there you go very pretty That's two coats of each on the outside of the egg. I mean two coats of this one on the outside of the oh. It's okay. It didn't crack. Oh, okay. Two coats on the outside of the egg and two coats on that base. So I'm just going to let it dry and then do a coat on the inside and then so the inside of the egg is drying and while that dries I have a look at the all the bits and pieces they have to go onto the base and around the egg. <laughs> instructions I don't need too much of this Mod Podge sorry away from the camera again if I just shine it in the light I'll be able to see if I've left anything out yes and unfortunately shining it in the light does mean I'm off camera because I've taken away all the lights from shining down here so that there isn't a big glare <laughs> all right now the contents of the little bag that came in the kit in here already and this stuff is so fine it goes everywhere okay so if you look in there you can actually just see all the shine very pretty okay so now the next step unfortunately I can't do it in camera because I'm going to spray it with some hairspray because the hairspray keeps it all in place so I'm just going to open the door quickly and so what I've done now is I've mixed the two part epoxy and I'm just going to glue the air the base of the egg to the base so that makes sense yeah remembering this is not an instructional video so I won't be talking through the next stages um, but you can carry on watching me obviously <laughs> hopefully hopefully you will carry on watching me okay this is not going to be easy because I've got to work in there how I don't know I don't, I don't know how this is going to work because as you can see I've got to put my hands in there to put some of that, some of this, around the heart on the inside, right? Guys, I need some light here. I know it's going to interfere with your viewing, but I really do need some light. It's very fiddly, and I'm trying to show you, but I also need it to just the first bit stick down. Then I think it should get easier be interesting if Linda does this one as an instruction video I'd love to see how she does the inside because I'm not sure this is the correct way of doing it but sorry folks I don't know how much of that you are getting you're getting any of it or if it's just my hands in there 
and now to cut that bit off you will see the heart there you go okay this is some chiffon fabric there you can see that just on the outside there okay i'm just gonna make it a lot easier to press on it and not be afraid of cracking the egg Once again, I'm going to put the light down because I need a little bit extra light. I know it doesn't help with the viewing. And I do apologize. It looks very pretty. Okay. That is it. It is done. I'll just bring you up a little bit and I'll hold the egg closer. So that's it. Um, I'd like to thank you all for being here with me. 
please do stay to the very very end because I'll have a short video um, of it so that you can see all sides of it it will be the video that I generally post up on Facebook so please do stay to the very end and I want to thank you all so very much for being here with me and joining me on this little project please do like subscribe share that would be nice and comment please do let me know what you think um, and if you may be going to try it yourself um, I will like I said before leave um, the link for Linda's website for her YouTube channel and her Facebook group so you can get hold of her if you'd like to like I said before this one is called true love so I want to thank you all so very much for joining me on this project please do stay safe stay well and I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye for now.